it just like kept splitting into multiple. Uh, I don't really remember everything that happened. Better to record everything. Everything can be used. Okay. What's that noise? Uh, please, please, please don't be like that. What is good, my fellow Chaotix? I am the one and only Enraged King of BFE, also known as Black Force, and he's the Golden Eye Man himself. Chaos Kid. And today, we are playing Walter Martin's Teleforum. Drowned Lake. I, I'm honestly not too sure what to do here. I kind of just went on a limb here, because I saw a playthrough of this. And I'm honestly not too sure of the lore here. So I'm a little confused, but we just gonna jump into it anyway. But before I do that, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss another video for all of my newcomers to the channel. And without a further ado, let's get into it! Oh, put in like a VHS tape or something. What was that? Julian. Juliana. Oh, damn. She got it bad, though. Okay. This is the right building. Alright. Hey. You got that camera on? I thought I had it on. On? Now? Uh. Which one should I... Uh. I'll say on now. Yeah. It's best to have as much material as possible. Okay. We can edit it all later. Alright, bet. Ah, now that's hard. We want the sixth floor. Can you get the button? Sure, why not? Uh, sixth floor right here. Oh, snap, nah, nah, that's crazy. Alright, got it. What is it? You look like you have something to say. Uh, don't you think it's wrong to bother a widow? Wait, what? I was just thinking about what happened. Did you get authorized for this? Uh, I don't, I don't know. Oh, right. It's like a uh, lady, something happened with her husband. If we don't do this, someone else will. You know Augusto back at the station? He's itching to make a special show about this. A show about, a show about her husband's death is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Trust me, new guy. I didn't get here waiting for them to give me the jobs. Dot dot dot. It was bizarre. You didn't see it, did you? Uh, wait, is that me? Uh, why I look like a preschool prowler? Uh, nigga. Uh, I look like a creep. Uh, what's the name of that one nigga that got fired off of Nickelodeon? They have like a obsession with feet or something? I don't know. I forgot his name. Uh. Alright. Yeah, my name is just Cameraman? Okay. They just told me how it happened. What he used to do, you know? Okay. You're lucky. I wish I hadn't seen it. Uh. Dang. That's tough. Not a lot. You heard it, right? He gave Kelso a VHS tape. The VT operator? Right. Kelso was supposed to broadcast the tape, but he couldn't technical issues. Okay. Then, BAM! It happened. <clears throat> oh, wow. Oh, we're here. Come on. Right, we've been on the floor for a minute now. <laughs> we just kind of been sitting inside the elevator. Alright, so what's now? What's next? Okay, we're going to apartment 608. Easy to remember. Uh, okay, so we can either go to the light side or head towards the trash. Uh, I mean, that looks like a staircase, so I'd say... Wait, which room did she say? 608? I think we'll just go forward with them. Because that's 604 right there, right? Yeah. Okay, the room's right here. I think that's the apartment just ahead, just ahead. Right. Okay. I made the right call. <laughs> Here we are. 
Dot dot dot. Well, let's get ready, shall we? You can film her getting the door and all that. So, should I knock on the door? Ring the bell? What'll look better on the video? Uh... I can... Hmm. I say just knock on the door. I wonder if she's up to talking to strangers right now. Oh god, because she just lost her husband, did she? If she isn't, she will be now. Hey, yo, come on. I'll be done, so let's, let me be, uh, insensitive. Let me try again. I don't know, maybe she's not home. Is she even home? Right. Say, did you work with Walter for long? What if she won't see us? Uh, right, is she even home? Ferraria called her right after it happened. I doubt she's left the house since yesterday. Uh, ring the doorbell real quick. Alright, third time since the charm. She had to hear that, right? There she is. What do you want? Adriana. Adriana, okay. Hi, Miss Martins. We're from Channel 8. We came to give you our condolences. Do you really need a video camera for that? We're making a special program about Walter. Oh, so they are making a show. Not as crazy. A homage. A kind of retrospective, you see. He worked at the station for so long. So we wanted to talk to you about him. About what happened. Right. Fine. Come in. It might be good to talk to about. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Quick thinker, huh? Homage? I can't believe she bought that. What? Huh? And hey, what do you mean by that? Also, homage? Why not? We can edit it later. Right now, we need the raw material. Wow. She really just lied to that lady face. Ain't no way. Come on, before she changes her mind. Oh, me. <laughs> it seemed like she really wanted us to come in in the first place. Mind to make this quick. Yo. Nah, cause why she look like that? Hey, yo. Thank you again for welcoming us, Miss Martins. Hmm. Silver here will film our conversation, okay? Will he now? I'll have to think about that. What? Would you like to drink anything? Tea? Coffee? Oh, I never refused a cup of coffee. I'll go make some. Okay, cool. She pulled a fast one on you, huh? Forget that. Let's snoop around while we have the chance. Hey, yo! Nah, now I want me to go looking around this old lady's apartment. After she just lost her husband, now we gotta come in here and snoop around her apartment. Looking at all her stuff. Being nosy. That's crazy. Is that a dog? Make sure to get anything that catches your eye on camera. We're surrounded by material here. Is that a... That is a dog. Aww. Little doggy. Little doggy. What's up, doggy? Aww. That's so cool. I mean, so cute. Good one. We need a nice shot of gunpowder. <laughs> nah, that's sick. Nah, that's sick. Naming your dog Gunpowders. Nah, that's fire. Nah, that's a fire name. I ain't gonna hold you. Ah, uh, name that nigga Gunpowder. That's hard. Walter even carried the dog's pictures, picture in his wallet. He showed it around as if it were a photo of his son. I mean, hey, I would've did the same thing. I would've did the same thing, for real. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it would be a shame if we only had shots of the same wall. So look around the whole room here, okay? I bet. Oh, I can use A and D to, like, explore around. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. What are these? Look at these certificates, journalism, degree of UFRGS, specialization in communication. Walter was well educated, I think Miss Martins is just the same. Hm, type stuff, type stuff, what a waste. Nah, don't say that. I don't Alright, let me come over here. What's up with the chicken? What kind of show is she watching? Hey, that TV shot looks good. Okay, type, <laughs> type, type, type. Something funny about this TV. What about it? 
I think there was a lightning strike nearby the other day. Might have messed it up. Oh, oh, oh okay, it does look a little weird now I'm thinking about it. Actually, I'm pretty sure it happened the same day that Walter, you know. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Uh, what about the chicken? Is it gonna rain today? Hardly. The rooster says otherwise. Look. Ah, these roosters never get it right. Hmm. Guess we can use this take to set the mood. I bet. Hey, I can hear her putting water in the filter. She'll be back soon. Check out all you can can right now. And now. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, alright, let me see. Uh, she got pictures and stuff. There's a painting here. A lake. I think Miss Martin painted this. Oh, she's a painter. Oh, cool. I do art too. That's nice. Look at this photo. Some uh, scenery? Not a very appealing scenery. Plus, it's out of focus. Hmm. This photo has a story behind it. I can feel it. I might ask her about it during the interview. Okay. Okay, she got trophies up here too. Look, a daily trophy. Oh, right. Walter got one for an article he wrote back in the 70s. Oh, nice. The station's owner thought this would make us stand out more, but it didn't happen. Local stations have zero chances against the big ones. I think they even had a lobby going on to hush this up. Okay, cool. Uh, what else? She got books down here. What kind of books she be reading? Uh, I don't see anything else. Uh, this chair? No. Uh, let me come over here. Huh? Why is there a horseshoe above the, uh, the door? Is that a horseshoe? That's what I said. Seems so. Like, for good luck? I didn't know Walter was superstitious. Hm. Coffee's almost done. Type stuff, type stuff. Wow, why she, why they got her looking like that? And what's up with this profile picture on the side? Uh, next to her name. What's that picture about? Uh, will you have one? Uh, yeah, I'll take some coffee. Yes, thank you. Be my guest. So, did you think it over? I did. Let's get this done with. Great. We'll begin shortly. Let's shoot the interview on that chair, Silva. Okay, dang. She's gonna use her first name that casually, like you noticed, lady? That is kind of rude, ain't it? Ready? No, but it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go. In three, two, one. We're here with Miss Andrea Martins, wife of Walter Martins, our dear colleague who left us uh, abruptly. So abruptly. She agreed to give us an interview during these most trying of times. The house itself really tells a story about how you two lived. Uh the amulet above the door. Oh, she's talking about the horseshoe. Uh, let's talk about gunpowder. Why not? What's been getting you through these difficult times? Oh, it's probably gunpowder, huh? Gunpowder here helped me more than anything else. Type stuff, type stuff. I feel you on that one. I feel you on that one. The dog. Of course. He's been quite sad. Ah, that sucks. He knows something's amiss. He misses Walter. Mm, I feel that. I feel that. At least taking care of him has taken my mind off things. Aw, oh, that's nice. Certificates and degrees. You took our quite you two are quite well educated, aren't you? You can see you can say so. I studied it quite a bit history theater. Theater? I met Walter at an eloquence workshop I used to help him at out. Can you believe he had a speech impediment? Bad diction. Ah. Uh, I feel that, I feel that. I am struggling to read these words a little bit, I ain't called you. Nobody notices it today. His articulated speech that was my gift. Uh. Mmm. Weather rooster atop of the TV. There was a storm then, right? Yes. I mean, I remember lightning struck nearby here, right? When? When? Ah, uh, that sucks. Uh, let me see. Uh, the television seems strange. Yeah. 
Walter dedicated a good portion of his professional life to TV. I couldn't help but notice your television here. I... Yes, we had a blackout that day. There was a horrible lightning strike nearby right after the broadcast almost gave me a heart attack. The TV has been working properly since then. I leave it on so the house feels less empty. Oh, type stuff, type stuff. Like I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry. I don't think I can keep going. Of course, Miss Martins. We have enough material already. He was so different, so nervous. I never expected him to. Dot dot dot. No one expected that, Miss Martins. I still can't even imagine Walter handling a gun. Gun? What gun? Walter never had a gun. The... the gun. The one he used during the show's broadcast. He did not use a gun. I know it was horrible, but I saw it when he pulled the trigger. Dot dot dot. That's what Ferreria told you back at the station, right? No, I was told he had used a knife. No, I was told to... Old he took poison. No, I was told he hanged himself. What? Uh, I'm so confused. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, he used a knife, maybe? What? How can that be? My God, I knew it. Ever since he got that damn tape. What? The tape? He tried to broadcast? Kelso, Kelso ex examined the tape back at the studio. I think the film was burned, something like that. That wasn't that tape, the, the tape. Not the original one. That was a copy. Seriously? Do you still have the original one? Dot dot dot. Yes, here. I don't know what he saw in this thing. And I don't know where he got it from. Walter made me swear to never watch it. He only watched when I wasn't home, or in the small hours of the morning. You want to watch it, don't you? For your show. I don't think that's a good idea, but I'm too tired to try to change your mind. I, I'm going outside to have a smoke. I don't even want to hear this thing. Ah, uh, okay, so she's definitely going through it. I need to go. This is it. We have quite the story here. You look like you've seen a ghost. You'll stay, right? Uh... Yeah, I just gotta see what the hell's going on here. Are you crazy? I'm out. Uh... I don't know. I mean, she did say she wouldn't suggest uh, watching the tape. But I mean, I guess we do technically need it for work purposes, so I guess I'll stick around. I knew I made the right decision in bringing you with me. This is how we'll do it. You film me as I watch this thing. That's the thing. We'll have more takes that way. We can insert the tape's content in the video during editing. I bet. Mm. Is that her right there? Yeah, I think that's her in front of the TV. Right. Let's make some room here. Alright. Alright, let's begin. Let's get my first impressions on film. We can fix it all on editing later. There. I'll press play. It's starting. Okay, what is that? I can't really see past her too well. What is this place? I don't recognize this building. What the heck is that? Are those symbols? They're like a drawing of some sort? These symbols. Right, they are symbols. I... I can almost... Do they mean anything to you? Looking at them makes my head hurt. Head hurt. Gives me deja vu. I feel like I can almost understand them. Uh. Not really. They look like. Uh. Greek mythology symbols. To be honest. Uh. Looking at them makes my head hurt. I feel like I can almost understand them. Uh. I mean, I don't understand Greek mythology. Uh. I guess I'll say looking at them makes my head hurt. Me, it's the eyes. Yeah, my eyes actually are in real life. I ain't gonna go. <laughs> looking at this thing. Is that a hallway? Oh, 
It changed. Good. So he did go inside the building. What is this place? Okay, I gotta zoom in real quick. Uh, looks like a prison. Looks like a shopping mall. Looks like a museum. Looks like a school. Uh, it, uh, huh. What does this look like? It doesn't really look like a prison, I don't think. It doesn't look like a shopping mall either. Uh, maybe museum or school? I'm gonna say a school. Are those classrooms? Yeah, I think that is a school. Dot, dot, dot. Why do their clothes look so much like my high school uniform? He's just walking by everything. What sort of building is this? It's way too long. Wait, why does the hallway keep going? Look, there's someone up ahead. I can't see past you, by the way. I don't know if you noticed that. Uh, I don't know. That guy. He looks... He looks... What the heck? Someone's talking? What the heck was that? Hey, yo! Uh, did you get that? I'll turn up the volume. You wanna turn up the volume? Sounds like the first one. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely sounds like the first one. Sure. You really heard that? Yeah? From what I think? Yeah, I think I heard that. I can't understand a damn thing. Let me turn off the volume one more time. You really want to turn it up more? Nah. You're, you're a bug. Is that a face? Y'all see that in the bottom left corner? That's a face, right? Juliana. Dot dot dot. Okay. The we lost signal, I think. Eh, hey, you okay? That said, I'm turning this thing off. I had it. I'm out of here. I'm gonna ask her if she's okay, because she's kinda just silent staring at this thing. Uh Whoa! Is that a flashbang? What the heck was that? So what now? Okay, we're in the right building. Are we back in the elevator? Is it me or does our hair look a little messier? This time. Is the camera on? Uh, let me remove the lens cover, okay? Okay, hurry up. All right, got it. Let me get, let me get the button. Sixth floor, apartment 608. Okay. You look like you've seen a ghost. She asked me that before, did she? I just... I... Just some deja vu. Oh! I get it. It's like the day's repeating. So this technically is deja vu. All of a sudden, we're just like back in the elevator. Right. I guess this would technically be deja vu. I'm honestly not too sure what's happening here. Uh... Okay, I guess I'll wait for the elevator to stop. Alright, we're on the floor. Okay, what now? Let's get to the 608 already. Okay. Head towards the window. Head directly. Wait, there's a window now? Hold on. 
Ah. Dot, dot, dot. Uh. I guess I'll continue forward? Get a better look at the area or something? What? What are you doing? What are you doing? How about you stop wasting our time? Can you do that? Hmm? I thought we could shoot some footage here for the video. You got it. Dang. Wait, chill. Ah. Okay. Well, you shot it, right? Come on, let's go. Alright, nigga, dang. You gotta rush me like that, man. There's the apartment. Okay, we're back at the apartment. Back at the apartment. Finally. Okay. Uh. Uh. Ring the doorbell? I'll do the talk. Okay. Dang! Yo, chill! Relax on that lady doorbell. What's wrong with you? Why'd she come out here and swing on your dumb ass? Good evening. We're from Channel 8. We came to talk to you about what happened. You don't mind if we record this, right? Okay, she's asking for permission this time. Okay, that's a little better. I... You want to talk about Walter, right? The recent events? Everything's stuck in your throat, isn't it? Dot, dot, dot. Come in. It might be good to speak to someone. Okay. Okay, cool. So she's willing like last time. Uh, 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 maybe maybe don't say it like that. Okay. <laughs> she's willing to talk like last time. There we go. Are you asking about the tape? There's something off here. Hey, aren't you coming on a little too strong? Oh, God! No, we need to investigate this. She's got her whole life to mourn. Wow, now that's crazy. Come on, get in. Now that's wild of you, I'm not gonna lie. That's mad wild. Alright, come on, let's go inside. She still looks creepy like before. We're about to begin. Will you have anything? Tea? Coffee? No, thanks. Well, I'll go make something anyway. Okay, cool. Hey, it's gunpowder. Why is he looking at me this time? No, let's just... <sighs> God damn it. Alright. We'll have to wait for her. Okay, I'll... I'll have a look around here. Yeah, whatever. Okay, rude. What's up, gunpowder? What's good, boy? What are you doing? Why is he sitting like that? Hey, gunpowder. He seems a little nervous, uneasy. Right, like he seems a little different before. Or is he afraid? Why would he be afraid? Uh, diplomas. Look at all these certificates. Walter wasn't a complete dumbass. Whoa! <laughs> nah, that's crazy. That man dad and you speaking on his name like this? Nah, that's wild. Unlike some people back in the studio. Wow. She just talking to everybody, everybody, huh? Right. Dot, dot, dot. But I don't recognize any of these institutions. Um, okay. I guess. Alright, me. Turn. Oh, the channel's different this time. Teleform. Ah! <laughs> nah, that's clever. I ain't gonna hold you. That's kind of clever for real. Uh. How do I? Okay. Something about this TV set gives me the creeps. Uh, the chicken's still up there too. Looks like it's going to rain after all. Funny. We had a clear sky the whole day. Hey. There's a weird thing hanging above the front door. Look. Oh, it's the horseshoe. I think she's talking about it, right? Go there and take it off. What? Uh, I beg your pardon? You said what now? Uh, absolutely not. What? You heard me. You can reach up there. If you jump, right? So, take it down. It's getting on my nerves. Wow, I do have a bit of a shorter character, huh? Hey. I really am, I really am a little tall, man. Uh... What the hell? Okay, fine, I'll take it down. I won't do that. I Right, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not just gonna come and touch these people's stuff. Do you always talk back like that? Are you always this rude? The fuck? 
It's just a little favor. Come on. We'll put it back up after. Okay, fine. I'll take it down. I'm not messing up the poor woman's home. Oh, God. What's wrong with you? Dot, dot, dot. Fine. All right. What's wrong with you, nigga? In the coat. I'm pretty sure there was a pair of boots here when we came in. Oh, was there? I didn't actually notice. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't paying enough attention to detail to know that there. Let's get to the point. Alright, nigga. Calm down. Walter took a take to the studio, but it wasn't the original one, was it? Okay, so she knows it was a copy this time. The original is here. With you. How do you know that? Oh, God. <clears throat> we examined the one he had with him. Last time, y'all said it was burned, though. I want to see the original. Of course you do. Well, yes. I have it here. Do you know where he found the tape? Found this tape? Is this why you came here? Had I known, I wouldn't have opened the door, oh god. Here, take it. I don't want to see this thing. I'll go have a smoke outside. Tell me when you're done. Alright. Let's go. Do you want to shoot a video of the tape? Hey, she's a widow. What's gotten into you? Oh god! I don't have time for this. But, fine. You're right. Okay, there we go. This whole thing is making me antsy. Antsy. You know what? Why don't you go check up on her? I'm good. I bet. Even better interview her. Even better interview her. You always wanted to do that, right? Here's your chance. Wow. Okay. So I really gotta go bother this woman while she's having a smoke. Alright. See if she's up to answering some questions about the original of this tape. I mean, about the origin of this tape. Alright, I guess. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, there she is at the end of the hallway over here by this window again. That I was just at. Ah, there she is. Right. Deep breaths. Alright, gotta calm down for a sec. Walk up to her. Dot, dot, dot. What's the smell? It's not the cigarette. What? No, focus. If I do a good job, I might get new opportunities. I can help Miss Martins feel a little better. It'll probably change nothing, but I still want to. I'll help Miss Martins feel a little better. Cause she was kinda rude to her before. It's what I want to believe, at least. I me. Miss Martins. What is it? Uh can I ask you a question? Are you done? Not yet. Juliana's watching that tape. Watching the tape. Meanwhile, I wanted to ask you some questions for your program. Shouldn't the girl be asking the questions? Yes, but she's busy with the tape. It's an opportunity for me. Actually, I got worried about you. On me. For for her. I felt your pain a little bit. I ain't called you. Because she was kind of a little too straightforward. I've seen many people like that girl in this line of work because of Walter. People will stop at nothing. Eh. Fine. Let's do this interview of yours. You'd better think very carefully about these questions of yours. My head's about to burst. Okay. How are you doing? Probably not too well. How was Walter on the day? On that day? What's in the tape? Uh, I mean, we already saw what's in the tape, so I don't need to ask that. How was Walter that day? Like, how was he doing? Like, was there anything suspicious? How are you doing? Are uh, you feeling probably not too good? Terrible. I haven't slept since, you know. Uh, I feel you, I feel you. Maybe I should have, maybe I should have seen it coming. That atmosphere at home changed ever since that tape showed up. He, sh he would watch it many times a day, locked up in the room. He'd say he'd almost get it, but never showed me anything. Okay, dot, dot, dot. He never showed it to me. Do you know where the tape came from? No. We already asked that. Why did he make a copy? Why did he make a copy? Why do you why do we copy anything? To preserve, to share. That's what I think, at least. Okay. To share. Just thinking about that girl alone in my living room watching that thing makes my skin crawl. Say, 
why is she so interested in that tape? Why is she so interested? To tell the truth, so am I. I wouldn't know. Because it's an important piece of the case? Uh... I say so. I guess it is technically important, important to the case? Yes. I could see the greed on your colleague's eyes when she asked for the tape. Uh, yeah. It was also in her wording, too. To be honest, I thought you'd ask questions about Walter. He was your co-worker, no? That was the plan. Was it? Really? Don't you think that colleague of yours is acting a little strange? Oh, God, she is. Hey, Mr. Mar Miss Martin's got the right idea for it. I... I could swear I've seen her before. Right! Because it technically did happen before, right? To be honest, I have a feeling I've seen you before as well. Oh, me! Maybe I've seen her at the studio. I'm not sure. Mm, so basically... Oh! Would it, like, control time? Or maybe it, like, altered it somehow? I don't know. I don't think so. I haven't been working here, there, for long. Hmm. Maybe that's why you don't seem to be like her. Not yet, anyway. Mm. Me? Yes. Why are you in this, anyway? Well, this is my job. I don't get to pick my tasks. Can we include... Can we conclude the interview first? Uh, no, I'm just gonna answer a question. I don't want to be disrespectful. So you choose to admit yourself, right? Dot, dot, dot. No. Dot, dot, dot. I shouldn't blame you. You're not at fault. Not really. You know I get it. I get the idea of moving out the ladder. The allure of a sensual, uh, sensu sensationalist piece of news. You can see it too, can't you? Nothing good from this tape. From this whole thing. It really didn't cause anything positive until now. That's precisely why we need to investigate. It didn't cause anything positive until now. So far, yeah, I think so. I know that better than anyone. I guess he would. Mmm. Mmm. The dialogue kind of hit, though. Mmm. And if that's the case, wouldn't it be better to stop? Our job is to inform people so others don't need to pay the same high costs. I don't have the authority to cancel the story. Maybe. Maybe it would be better. I mean, that's technically not in my authority. But at the same time, I guess it would make sense to inform people so that others don't make the same mistake that he did. Hmm. I'd like to believe that. Hmm. W dialogue for real. I feel like I'm... I feel like not even you believe that. I'm not repeating myself. Well, I wanted to believe it, too. To be honest, I don't know. Not really. Hmm. I'm gonna pick this one. Well, I don't want this story to be broadcast. I'm telling you, quit plainly. Drop the camera. You serious? You can tell them the crazy old lady clawed at you. I don't care. Here. A little push out the window. Mm, okay. Throw the camera. I mean, but I technically can't do that. I don't give a damn if you can't. Just drop it. Deny her influence. You won't do it, will you? That's fine. Look. I've got a splitting headache. Go check if she's done then leave, please. I want my living room back. Alright, I got you. Thank you for the interview, Miss Marcus. Hmm. Alright, let me go back. I think I left the door open. What's up? Is that another flashback? Ah! Okay. So, reality's been altered again, I think. Or at least that's what I think is going on. Give me any TV again. Okay. How many times is this gonna restart? And he said he smelled something, right? What was that about? Oh, what happened to the music? What the heck? Who was that? Uh. Okay. What, uh.
Oh, I'm going upstairs now. I need to reach the apartment. Oh, okay. We got more dialogue. The apartment. Wait, what? Why am I going upstairs? Won't we on the same floor as the apartment? Dot, dot, dot. Which apartment? Uh, well, 608, right? Yes. That was it. <laughs> you keep that memory really safe for me. I had someone else with me. Right, uh... Wait, what was her name? Julie... Juliana! Right. Jul... Right. Juliana. Juliana, right. How could I forget her? Cherish your colleagues. Ah, <laughs> Got it. Each step makes it harder to remember. Uh, okay, there we go. I can see the stairs again. I was just gonna say something about that, too. That tape. What I saw in it. I watched it unrecorded nightmare was seeing and forgetting the name of what I saw. I saw the past of a future that never happened. I saw the past of a future that never happened. Right! Because technically the first time didn't end up like that, so I guess it would be the past of a future that never really happened because it didn't happen like that. Oh! Oh, big brain! In which future do I exist now? Which past did I come from? Did I come from? The apartment. She said she stayed there. Mmm. This reminds me of that one Nickelodeon episode. It was like they split the dimension into two and then it just like kept splitting into multiple. Uh, I don't really remember everything that happened. Better to record everything. Everything can be used. Okay. What's that noise? Uh, please, please. Please don't be like that. I need to go on. Is this the right way? I don't know. I need to pay attention. I don't know. I need to pay attention. What's that sound? Is that a dog? Is that gunpowder? I need to go on. Oh, okay. I guess I need to pick this one anyway. Yes, this one. Weird smell here. Okay, it's the same smell. Where did I smell this before? Ah, she, he said it didn't smell like cigarettes. It smelled like something different. Uh. It's gunpowder. Dot, dot, dot. Keep going. What's wrong with the dog? What's wrong with gunpowder? Gunpowder? What happened here? Uh, what's wrong? What? Why's the dog here? Where's your owner? Hey, gunpowder. Where's your owner? Am I imagining things? Or is the dog avoiding the apartment? Mmm, the dog knows what's going on. Oh, no. And now, come on. What happened to the camera? Ah. Gunpowder. Come back here. Okay, the dog. Okay, now I'm gonna go follow it. Wait, what is that? What's that? He just dashed down the hall. Looks like he was laying on top of some note. Oh, that's what that is. Inspect the note. Then I'm gonna go out to get It's a note. I've had it and did what I should. I now live the past of a future that never happened. I move through strange events. Ephemeral. Ephemeral at facts. Truth and lies no more than an idiot. Gunpowder alone. She. She also. Uh. These letters are giving me birdie. Birdie go. Wait. The dog. Where'd he go to? Okay. I guess I'll be reading the note. I think. Gunpowder. I'm. I'm going inside. I'm going. I need to. No, I want to leave this place. I think the dog knows what's going on. I think it's calling me there. Am I going inside? Really? Really? I will. Alright. I feel like the dog knows more about this than I do, so I think I need to follow it. I just noticed it, noticed it now. And it's awful. Say it out loud. Keep it to yourself. Say it out loud. Say it out loud. The camera carries me. Not the other way around. I can 
whatever. I can't even tell when this started. Perhaps a long time ago. Maybe when I submitted my application. What is he talking about? Well, this man got in behind me. And then it's part of the Lord. Going out. Going in. Okay. Cool. Contact the apartment. Caros telespectadores, boa noite. Hoje nós teremos uma transmissão especial do nosso programa. Possivelmente a minha última. E com ela trago um comunicado a fazer para todos vocês. Descobri algo nas últimas semanas que tem, tem me assombrado desde então. Palavras não serão bastante para descrever o que descobri. Portanto, eu vou precisar mostrar. E talvez isso venha a assombrar vocês, assim como tem me assombrado. Mas a minha profissão, o meu trabalho, foi revelar a verdade durante todos esses anos. E se quisermos nos libertar, preciso que todos saibam disso que tenham mostrado. Por isso, acho que todos sintonizem bem seus aparelhos. Não cruzem suas pernas, isso é importante. Mas fiquem confortáveis com a coluna reta. E observem com atenção. has not been seen since fourth. We had a chance to speak with the mother. If you personally believe that there is some sinister hiding in there, no, of course not. People love ghost stories, but in the end, they're just stories, just stories, just stories, just stories. Caros telespectadores, boa noite. Hoje nós teremos uma transmissão especial do nosso programa. Possivelmente a minha última. E com ela trago um comunicado a fazer para todos vocês. Descobri algo nas últimas semanas que tem, tem me assombrado desde então. Palavras não serão o bastante para descrever o que descobri. Portanto, eu vou precisar mostrar. E talvez isso venha a assombrar vocês, assim como tem me assombrado. Mas a minha profissão, o meu trabalho, foi revelar a verdade durante todos esses anos. E se quisermos nos libertar, preciso que todos saibam disso que tenham mostrado. Por isso, acho que todos sintonizem bem seus aparelhos. Não cruzem suas pernas, isso é importante. Mas fiquem confortáveis com a coluna reta. E observem com atenção.
Alright, y'all. I'm gonna have to end it off right here. This has been the one and only in Rage, the King of VFL, son of the Black Force Energy, Golden Knight Man himself, Chaos Kidden, playing Walter Martin's Teleform. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!